two people, two pups, two boats, and two ways of savoring life. Through the hard work of restoring our heavenly twins catamaran, and through the adventures we take and places we visit on our McGregor 26X. Our channel takes an easygoing, light-hearted approach to enjoying life, one bikini at a time. So if you're up for some sailing and other fun, then we're happy to have you aboard. We post new videos every couple weeks, so hit that subscribe button and we'll see you here next time. And also, check out the links below. We have extended videos on Vimeo, and we also have a Patreon page. Thanks to everyone for watching. Hey guys, here are a few scenes from our last video. We had a lot of fun making it, and if you didn't see it and have an extra 12 minutes, please check it out. The captain worked out some more of those pesky motor problems, and we were on our way to the reef on a spectacular day. Grabbed a mooring ball and had some fun topside before diving in. That is really close. Just you know, hold it normal. Don't poke it out. I'm not a fish. Let me show you how to hold it. Shut up. An attitude on this one. The little bitchy mermaid. <laughs> You're about to get thrown overboard. Keep it oh, up. Woo. I think I see a spread eagle ray. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> this is not a family wreath. This is adults only wreath. Once in the water we saw some beautiful fish and some that we see very rarely. And then some that we didn't expect to come this close to. Lots of rain in the boat was all that happened. We were super lucky and we were super thankful. And it is coming in really badly. We have the boonies down, so we have no protection. And now the wind is blowing from this direction. So the bed's getting wet. And you can see back here, here the windows are dripping. We, there's even extra tape on those. I don't know, it's just places that have never dripped before, all of a sudden, Dripping like crazy, just the amount of rain, I guess. Uh, the power went out, so we didn't have any AC. And what sucked about that is that it's still super humid. But with the rain, we couldn't open anything. Everything was really sealed up. It's hard to sleep in a storm. It's even harder when you're sweating. 
And in the bathroom, there are three holes that uh, wires come through. What's coming through there? Well, they're the access points for the screws on the sliding hatch. But you have wires coming through. I used them as wire channels. Yeah, okay, well, now they're rain channels. Captain already scooped it out, but I got up in the middle of the night and just stepped in like four inches of st standing water. All boats leak. It's just a matter of how much and when. Mm -hmm. The number of leaks for the size of this boat. You'd think that they would kind of build in like a channels for wiring when they make the boat and not... They did for... Or, or even, even integrate things instead of screwing down on top of the fiberglass, you know, the railings and all the extra stuff. I guess it also depends on if you're in a mega yacht or if you're in a mega cute McGregor. <laughs> well, this little McGregor is a tough mutter. No, I'm not putting her down. I mean, there's been some times when I've been like, you know, Captain Ron flashes when he says, you guys don't want to be down here if she starts breaking up. You know, I've thought, I mean, it's been, we've crashed through some waves before and I'm like, oh my God, is the boat going to fall apart? And knock on wood, this little girl has made her way through. You really enjoy this marina. You said that the docks and the cleats and all are really nice. Yeah, the dock cleats are massive. We've been other places where the tidal change and all, I mean, the captain's out there for adjusting the lines forever. You're at a fixed dock, you have the chance of the dock going underwater. You have to, as the tide goes up and down, you got to get out and readjust or, you, you know, you pull your boat down or have too much slack to make room. So floating docks makes it separate, simple. You just tie it tight and you're done for the night. I had to keep adjusting it because the lines would get wet and stretch. And then we tried, we taped over the door because there was so much rain coming in. Um, we were able to do that, so he started crawling out the hatch here to adjust the lines. We do have enough house battery. I'll say he set me up with a movie because it's the other Bolin girl. <laughs> and it's not his genre, but I love period movies, so. It'd be Captain Ron if I picked it. Yeah. From a tropical storm to this week's semi-tropical adventure. Well, we were headed out to Molasses Reef. It's not that protected, pretty far out there, so it was quite a rocky ride. Once we made it through the rough stuff, the water was unbelievably beautiful. Woo! 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 Oh, let me get the sailboat in front. Can I get it? They've got their, um, oh my gosh. I forgot what that sail's called. They're back, they're back sail. That's not it. Don't tell the captain I forgot. They're beautiful, white on that water like that. Oh my goodness, look at that. Do y'all see that? Oh, God. Can you imagine on a calm day? Woo! 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 Oh no, I have no transdermal scope on, no phonon, no drama mean. This is setting up to be a Face down afternoon. But right now I'm feeling like it's worth it. Oh my goodness. It's so expansive. I'm sorry, I'll try to shut up so y'all can enjoy the scenery, but every time I turn my head, it's just another incredible sight.
freak him out, but I'm gonna get the shot. Woo! Okay, this makes more sense. I can turn around and still see the water. It's less likely to fall. And after a few more times around the beautiful molasses reef, we decided snorkeling wasn't gonna work out, so we headed inland to a party island. Okay, so we're out today. We are at uh, Rodriguez Key. Rodriguez Key is a couple miles down from Pinnacamp State Park in Key Largo, and it's really a local's place. Everyone seems to just chill, get in the water with the beer, and float the day away. Stay classy, San Diego. You want to show everybody what you're looking at? Here we are at Elliott Key, just outside Miami. <laughs> Okay, I got it wrong. We're not at LA Key. You interrupted me. Rod Sorry. Rodriguez Key. I didn't mean to do that. Rodriguez. Now. Rod go <laughs> okay, go. Rodriguez Key. After goofing around a bit, it was time to get off the boat and explore the waters around this little island. Perfect suit for contrast. I take it off. <laughs> and once back on the boat, it was time for a shower. A very, very hot shower. This solar is shower bag. It's a solar heated bag filled with water. I think it's about three gallons. Get her on deck. And you lay it on face down so the black can yeah, help clear, absorb. Yeah, clear on top and the black surface heats it underneath. I see 122 yeah, starting 122 to line Yeah, 122 starting to line up. Yep. And if in a half an hour it gets up to 100. Oh, it does? Yeah. Wow. About how much did it cost? About 20 bucks. Like really hot showers. Good, but good thing about hot water on a boat is if you get stung by any fish or stingray or any a jellyfish. Not stingray, no, not stingray. Jellyfish, what, um, hot water neutralizes. It's a good safety, safety measure to have hot water on board if you're swimming with jellyfish. stuff that stings you. There you go. Whoa! Oh my gosh! It's really gosh. hot. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> Tons of water, eight pounds a gallon. Seems like maybe it's more than three gallons. It's working good, huh? Better. Okay. How many thumbs up would you give this product? I give it two cheeks up. Two cheeks. Whoops. Water just got hotter. <laughs> it's good, huh? It's not clear, clear and clean. I know. Use it all. Save weight. You need some. Of course I do. <laughs> Man, the you sun just is hot. <laughs> you just sprayed your hat. I know, but it's okay. Just keep going. You'll get used to it. It's like when we take baths together, he can't, or showers together, he can't handle. That does feel good. Um, the heat. Of course, I usually come out. What's wild is it's hot out here. Pretty pink. It's hot outside. We're having two different conversations. Actually, monologues. I'm talking louder so they're hearing me. I'm closer to the camera. Oh. Hey, my hose down the boat. Don't that. waste my water. 
Okay, I might want to use it later. Stop. Shower hog. Well, yesterday I took a, a breath in in the morning and I could taste the salt from the air in my mouth. Well, obviously I could taste it in my mouth. I could taste it on my elbow. Yeah, just by breathing in. Ooh, it feels, I feel better. Yeah, I feel like I've had. I know, I feel like, yeah, I'm not stinging. But this is good. For who? <laughs> I don't think the captain realizes how bad he is. It is it's a, a captain's it's tan. It's not a farmer's stand, it's a captain's stand. Let's check out the front. Look, your arms are color of your nipples. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I feel like I'm dating two guys. It's uh, time to put on my shirt that has more sunscreen on it than me. Yep, it's that time we've reached the end of our little video here. Goodbye to everyone. And thank you for watching. We hope you have some fun in the next couple weeks and catch up with us next time. Love to all of our patrons and well wishes to everyone.